However, God's plan for our lives is radically different. John 10.10b NIV says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Another way of saying this is that Jesus offers us abundant life. How do we live an abundant life? We live it through the peace of Christ. Toward the end of Jesus' earthly ministry, we learn that he wanted to leave his followers with peace as they would endure persecution at the hands of the Romans. Listen to these timely words, spoken from our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27, NIV. This text speaks volumes because it reveals that it was the will of God that we experience true peace of mind. As well, this text suggests that peace is attainable by letting go and moving forward from the unhealthy thoughts and negative emotions so that we are in a place where we enjoy life. In essence, the scripture provides us the blueprint for breaking through the barriers in our lives and aids us in fulfilling our destiny. I want to point out that inner peace is the ability to cope with the tumultuous times in life by trusting and learning on the Lord Jesus Christ. In life, we will experience troubling situations that make us sad, but we must remember these breathtaking words of Jesus. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16:33 NIV. His declaration really highlights that inner peace brings us freedom to abide in the promise of peace. Purpose of the book. This 31-day interactive spiritual health picture devotional aims to provide the reader with scripturally supported strategies to help deal with the barriers of despair, disappointment, and depression, also known as the three D's. These keys intend to provide...